It's a crazy week. Like I said, I, I shaved my beard because I thought that I was going to have a Bumble date on... Actually, it would have been a Tinder date. It would have been a Tinder date, um, which apparently is different. Everybody, there's always this like myth, I think, in society where like Tinder is where the girls are like slutty and Bumble is where the girls want to get married. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> dude, most of, the, most of the people on Tinder and Bumble, I see the same people. It's like, are they a slut on, when they're on Tinder, but then on Bumble, they're like trying to get they're trying to be your wife it's like that's the same chick i've matched with her on two separate apps same exact pictures (laughs) when i message her i'm like i want to hang out but like in the tinder way if you could (laughs) i message you on tinder (laughs) but you didn't respond but when we're talking on bumble i just i was hoping this could be more like a tinder conversation you know (laughs) i hear you're a slut on tinder (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but so you know i don't i'm not that active on those apps so like every every like three weeks i'll just remember that i have them and then i'll just i'll be bored sitting in my apartment and so i'll just pull up my phone and be like all right time to just cruise through the apps and start swiping you like wearing gloves now when you're using tinder <laughs> yeah <in> I, <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> obviously dude <laughs> it's this socially responsible thing to do. And uh, so I go through and what's cool is when you do when you wait that long, you just get bombarded with like all the matches for the past four weeks all at once. And so it makes it fun as opposed to your normal. If you do it every day, it's like, damn, nobody loves me. Nobody <laughs> likes me. You just get that constant reminder every day. Yeah. So so instead, it's just like, oh, this is a fun reminder. And then you get match, match, match. And then all of a sudden you're just talking to like five different girls at once which isn't hard because most of those conversations only make it one message in before i say something stupid and they ignore me and ghost me (laughs) (laughs) i still have not locked down the uh the whole art of that but this one i got i was like i really i so there's this new there's this new feature on tinder called secret admirer Ooh. You have, yeah, it's I, I just noticed it last week, and basically what, what it, it is. It, so is basically, it like the star or whatever. You'll just be like swiping, and then like randomly it'll pop up, and then it'll be like a thing of like four black squares, like a like black squares, and you just have to pick one of the black squares, and it brings up a picture, and then that is someone who has liked you that like then you can just choose to like them. It, it, I don't really actually get the point. It's just like, I'm imagining it's just people that have liked you that if you would have ran across them regularly and, and swipe right or whatever direction is yes, I never know to this day what direction is that. I've probably swiped 40,000 times on Tinder and I still have to look at the words that kind of come up every time I swipe. Am I doing this <laughs> the right way? <laughs> I don't know. To this day, I still don't know which direction I'm supposed to be swiping. But so it popped I guess up. It's, it's probably supposed to be so like, Maybe you'd like reconsider swipe, like unswiping them or whatever, like disliking them. You know? Oh, because so, like, you, know you know that they, like, that they you. like you. Yeah. And, and that's like, a big play. A that's a big play because that changes the game a little bit. Like if I see a girl who's on the fence, but I know she's into me, that's like, that might put her over the edge. I'd be like, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, and it works. And then you just, yeah, and then you ruin it two messages in. <laughs> and then I ruin it. It's like, damn, this girl really liked me. <laughs> and I ruined it. But, uh, <laughs> no. So, so I pulled up my secret admirer and, uh, I swiped yes just because of exactly what we said. Uh, <laughs> But then, then I didn't message her because I was like, "All right, I'm really not actually feeling this chick. I'm not that yeah. into it." I was. I, I had my Corona goggles on at the time. It's too easy now. I know you like me. Yeah, the, the thrill, thrill is gone. gone. Yeah, the chase <laughs> is already over before it started, and so I didn't message her. But then the very next girl I swiped on was hot, and we matched. And then I was like, "I'll just tell her that." She was the one I matched with as my secret admirer, as a conversation <laughs> starter. I'll just make this up. Who cares? <laughs> so I message her. <laughs> I'll just make this up. Who cares? I'll just make it up. <laughs> so I message her, and I said, Tinder says you're my secret admirer. I always suspected it. And then a day later, she replies, wait, what? <laughs> and I was like, okay, Jimmy, you got to dig this out of this hole. You got to dig yourself out of this hole. You did not, that's, this did not the go The curse of you. the second response. <laughs> <laughs> You've already blown it. <laughs> In fact, you blew it so bad that instead of just ignoring it, she felt the need to reply and be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> 
<laughs> and so so i replied back i'm driving around i'm I, i'm like trying to think of a tinder response while driving for deliveries not finding where i'm going because instead of looking at my maps i'm looking at tinder trying to think of a response so i'm just doing laps up and down york road missing my turns every time <laughs> crashing into <laughs> lanes <laughs> swerving in other lanes uh and uh so finally i just said something i forgot exactly what i said in fact i have no fucking clue what i said but it was something along the lines of oh, yeah i don't know what it is either i just saw the blah, blah blah anyway whatever 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 and we just kind of spun in this conversation and we were talking back and forth a little bit and uh at the end of the night i, I just kind of said like hey we're allowed to go outside now this is on wednesday that i was messenger messaging her we're allowed to go outside now what are you doing saturday and she was like, I don't have any really, really any plans. I was like, we should drink outside. Very vague plan, but yeah. lots of potential. You can, you can do anything. That could be Lock Raven. I didn't want to commit to a location. I didn't want to be like, we got to go to Lock Raven. We got to go to Patterson <laughs> Park. We got to go to Ocean City and get Thrasher's Fries and get on the news. <laughs> <laughs> so Eric could sit there and be like, what a fucking asshole. Oh, wait, that's Jimmy. <laughs> 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 and uh, so I left it, you know, open-ended. And uh, and then I said, my number is this. Text me. You earned it. Um, and then <laughs> you earned it, kid. <laughs> hey, kid. Tussle so her I, hair. You earned it, kid. Yeah. Here's my number. <laughs> <laughs> and so I wake up in the morning to a text from her saying, I guess I'll text you since I earned it, in quotes. <laughs> and I was like, nice. Nice. I am so in. So in. And yeah, uh, dude, you're already dominating her. Yeah, already. I mean, already. I'm telling you, you know, if I hope negging never becomes illegal because it is the most effective <laughs> way of <laughs> flirting of all time. <laughs> it's if they took that away from men, I don't know what we'd do. Yeah, <laughs> but, but anyway, I mean, yours is very tame. It yeah, seems. it's not really negging. It's unless just it was like, just like the podcast approved stuff that you're going to talk about. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, <laughs> Maybe I'm, it gets I'm, much worse. <laughs> I'm good about it. I'm kind of more like, hey, kiddo, text me. You earned it. You know, I'm not like, yeah, you should be texting me. You're fucking ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky. I'm even. <laughs> I bet I'm your only fucking match in months. <laughs> So I wake up to a text saying that, and you know I played it cool. I was like, whatever, just left it at that. <laughs> and later, and then I let the whole day go by. Didn't say anything. The next night, I text her and I said, besides Corona Lights, what's your favorite beverage to drink outside? And she said, LMAO. I don't. I hate Corona Lights, but White Ooh. Claws. And I was like, obviously, obviously White Claws. And I was like, all right, maybe we can think of something here. What's your favorite flavor? And she goes. Uh, black cherry and i sent her the 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 this face this emoji oh. this face? I, <laughs> like the like the the gasp I, the astonished face i the think it's the text face, and i yeah. only know the actual name of these emojis because on my droid phone my galaxy s6 i don't <laughs> have the emojis in my keyboard so i have to go to emoji emojipedia.net <laughs> <laughs> and type in what emoji I want and then copy and paste it into my text message. Oh, my and God. And so I know all the names for these, like technical <laughs> names, and that is the astonished face. So go ahead and Google the astonished face if you want to know exactly what emoji it was. If that's you're not what watching the live stream. Yeah. I sent three of those back to back because I think three emojis is, is a good amount of emojis. Um, and then uh, I said, uh, you know, this said the other thing, and she was like, you don't like black cherry? Uh, which flavor do you like? And I was kind of high at this point, and I was thinking of flavors, but then I realized that all the flavors I was thinking of that I thought were White Claw flavors were Jewel Pod flavors. <laughs> Dude, exactly. <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> so I texted back, and I said, I'm trying to think of my favorite flavor, but I keep on getting them confused with Jewel flavors. And then I rate a quick text after I said, Menthol Claws. And then a quick text after that, I said, No rules when you're hitting jewels. <laughs> and then... And then after that, the high part of me was like, but you, sh you know, what if she's not into vaping? So maybe you should clarify that you don't necessarily don't, vape. You're just making a joke. Don't, don't worry. I switched back to six. <laughs> so then I literally sent the next text. This is now my fourth in a row in the course of 30 seconds. I said, don't worry. I don't vape though. Ha ha ha. <laughs> And then, and we were going back and forth like every two minutes of the text, and and it sat for six minutes, no reply. And then you I'm said more high. Three more astonished faces. 
<laughs> so then I'm more high at this point and I go, but what if she is into vaping and now she's turned off that I just said I don't vape? What if she was typing out an <laughs> awesome response like, oh my God, I'm so relieved that you vape because I vape and I love menthol white claws. <laughs> and so then I text her and I say, I mean, sometimes. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I've cleared all my bases here. I've covered everything. I dropped a dumb anecdote, a joke, another joke, a disclaimer, and then an anti-disclaimer to all of everything I just said. <laughs> Essentially negating everything that's happened in this conversation. <laughs> Needless to say, no reply. No reply. And I'm thinking like, you know, it's 10, 20. She probably is asleep on a Friday. She probably has to wash her hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so I get no reply. And then the next morning I wake up fully expecting a uh, Haha, ha, sorry I fell asleep. Yeah, yeah, I vape or something. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> I do vape or I don't vape or I don't give a shit if you vape. Whatever, something, nothing. So uh, I go through the day and I'm just like, ah, oh, man, I knew this was going to happen. This always happens where like girls, they always entertain it up until it actually comes down to actually hanging out. and then, Until you like fire off too many texts in a row. yeah. And, and they're like, uh, oh no. So I was finishing up my shift at Seasons on Friday night. It's like 9.30. I let the whole day go by, you know, playing it cool. And I, and we were supposed to hang out on Saturday. We had been, you know, casually, vaguely making plans to do that. And uh, so I figured, you know, I'm just going to send one last Hail Mary. And then if, and I just sent her a text at 9.30 the next day. I said, not a big fan of the jewel jokes, huh? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, nothing. So that's where we are right now. But, uh, you know, it's just it, so I shaved for no reason because that's really why I shaved. I was like, you know, uh, and it just so happened that it also happened to coincide with the lift of the stay at home order. So I was like, OK, I did maintain a beard for the full time that we were technically supposed to stay in our houses. And I saw what I can do with two months of facial hair growth. And I wasn't impressed and I was tired of it. I was tired yeah. of it. So I shaved in anticipation for this date that was never going to happen. And now here I am clean shaven and I look weird. <laughs> and I look weird. And I think it's a blessing that we didn't hang out because I would have looked weird on that date. My lips, I rem my mouth is smaller than I remember it. I don't know where my <laughs> jawline went. I think my jawline just packed up and left. It was like, dude, we, why are we trying so hard? He's growing a beer. We don't need to be here. And then I shaved and my jawline was like, fuck, where'd I go? Um, but yeah, it just, that just always fucking happens. And I think the major problem is, is I knew this from the start. And, and it's a learning experience. And the problem is, is that you approach different girls differently. And if you want to, if you're, if you're trying to hang out with a girl, you need to kind of make it apparent the way you message and things like that, what your motivation is. Are you trying to hang out with me because you're trying to date? Or are you trying to casually hook up this, that, the other thing? And uh, me being the person I am, I, as I discussed formally on this podcast, I always feel the need to like put myself out there as like say something zany or whimsical to try to catch their attention. When in reality, I really do think I'd have a higher success rate if I was just like, sup, you go to Towson, you live in Hamden or something, just something stupid. That's you know? tight. Yeah, that's tight. That's tight. Me and my boys are going to Patterson Park on Saturday. You should come over with some friends. We can chill. You go to Frasier's? I fucking love Frasier's. You should <laughs> exactly. go to Frasier's sometime. Yeah, dude, that and guy's getting it. ass. Meanwhile, Mr. Menthol Claws over here. Great <laughs> joke. No rules when you're hitting jewels. I want a shirt that says that. I say it all the time thinking that people are going to catch on and it's going to be a thing. And it should be a thing because it's fucking sick. <laughs> but uh, it's not ever going to be a thing. And in fact, it's now 0 for 1 in getting me dates. Um, but yeah, so that was the whole occurrence with that situation. So no date, ghosted again. Um, but that's just the way of life, baby. I've been ghosted more times than I can count. And I almost like it now. <laughs> I almost aim for it. Then I just went rogue renegade and just started girls with message me on Bumble because like I said I had like 15 matches in one day because I just went stir crazy and swipe crazy and uh, one girl sent me a, a message that said and I actually respected this because as we've talked about before girls don't ever try on Bumble they never try with the messages they just say hey I got a bunch of haze and I just didn't reply unless they were like super attractive and then I replied with something equally dumb yeah, um, you this one girl hey right back or a hi yeah, maybe hey hi you're leading this conversation. I'm making you. Um, so this one girl actually tried, and I respected it. And she said, would you rather 
be with the love of your life, but have to wear a shirt made out of her pubes every day until you die, or not have to do that, but be alone forever. And I was mulling it over, and I was like, this is kind of a lame would you rather question, I'm not going to lie. But it is hard, because I couldn't come to an answer. And then um, I just said back, I was like, depends. Would you rather me answer this question seriously? No, it was, would you rather talk to a guy that answers this question seriously or a guy who calls you out for using recycled material? <laughs> <laughs> Negging. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not negging because it, she, dude, and that threw her for a loop because then she sent me like two paragraphs <laughs> saying like, okay, I admit it. I got it from how I met, no, I got it from 30 Rock and this, that, the other thing. <laughs> And then she sent the whole thing, and then I just replied saying, before the record, I'd probably just go with the pube shirt. <laughs> I don't, but, like, but like, you know, and that's why we're not going to hang out either. So it's whatever. <laughs> we're not going to hang out. And then one of the girls I matched with, you would love this, she's in Ocean City right now. Oh, my goodness, dude. Yep. I was like, you should meet my friend Eric. He would love to meet you. Oh my god! I'd fucking I'd put her on a one of those like uh, things where your head and your hands go through and have people throw apples at her. Oh, okay. the stocks. Yeah, <laughs> I throw her in the stocks, dude. The stocks. <laughs> <laughs> fucking right in the middle of Hunfest this year, dude. Yeah. Put her in the stocks. Have people throw fucking pink flamingos at her. Damn, dude. Every time I think about it, I just get bummed because that first girl I was talking about was actually like super hot. Um. You know, I go when I when I actually get some headway, I actually just start, you know, especially because I'm not seeing any girls and talking to anybody. So I have nothing to do but just talk to the three other Hispanic guys behind the line and <laughs> talk to them and be like, I matched this girl on Tinder. <laughs> Want to see her pictures? And I just sit there and look. And they're like, oh, yeah, baby. I'm like, nice, dude. Yeah, I'm hanging out there on Saturday. She thinks I'm funny. Yeah, I'm trying to get some headway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty much in. So over the course of two days, this girl was like essentially my girlfriend in my mind, and then we broke up, and now I'm devastated. Damn, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm devastated. sorry, dude. I feel for you.